Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you continue to have a wonderful day. Many thanks for stopping by Dancing Critter Acres. My name's Dean. Alright guys, we've had to meet birds in the tractor now for our eight days now. They have grown quite a bit. Something I'm not crazy about the feeder is, is apparently they can jump up into it and eat and also file, file in it. Uh, so I just moved it without some help from Christy. I can't move it anymore because the way our ground is, I'll show you. I got this two by four here to keep them from trying to skate out from underneath it and as I was trying to move it to turn it because if you look you can see over there where we started we've crept up to here and I pulled it up to here I didn't quite get it off of their old area but I've got it pretty about as good as I can get it right now there's one of our layers one of our old layers and of course Athena Say hi to the camera girl. And we got Aries, my boy Aries. So, on that, them birds are growing like mad. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, first time growing meat birds, I am, I'm shocked at how fast they actually grow. Uh, take a quick peek in on the youngest layers. That one right there, that's going to be a really pretty little bird, I think. They're all going to be gorgeous birds. That's a silver lace right there. There's another silver lace. There's a silver lace back there. Americanas. And I got a little white Americana back there. So, poke in here real quick, check on the other layers. These guys are growing, growing good too. And Californians are going to be kind of a neat little bird. They're going to have almost like Dalmatian markings on them. And, I mean, not heavy, not heavy speckled, but I got to get them a little bit of food. They're kind of skittish. like that one there and the other one you look at their neck you see the black some black on that one and they got specks on their side that's going to be a really cool little comet there there's another cool little comet back there they're all going to be beautiful and cool birds they're going to leave me lots of eggs Probably middle of next week the silver laces and the sapphire gems which that's one right there that just come up pecked at the screen one at that feeder there and the got some more comets so they're gonna get moved in with the others So, go over, poke our heads in on the goats real quick. There's my girl Aphrodite. There's Medusa. I did some organizing in my shop again. Should have been out here helping Christy, but she did a heck of a job cleaning the barn. Not so much here. There's Andromeda. There's Zenith. There's little Tamina. Yeah, she just does not like you, girl. There's Mo Goat. We did some moving around in the barn again. Uh, the boys here. 
Triton, Typhoon, Magnus, Magni. They no longer have this center stall. They've got this little area because they get to go in and out as they choose. Uh, but she cleaned this all up in here real good. Wow, the hay is deep over there. We got to really get that cleaned out. Now, a couple hours every night until it's done. Move that feeder out. The boys already like it, don't you, Typhoon? Or Triton. Typhoon. Don't eat my camera, Triton. He slips up underneath there and scratches his back. So does Magnus, or Magni. You guys are getting close to being banded. Except for you. Except for you. Getting close to tour time, so. And I had to replace a slat on my hay feeder. Snow busted it out of there. Here's the remains of it. Didn't find all the pieces. I mean, he busted it clean. I like the hiding so. Their bar needs to be cleaned out too. So. Check in on since I got Aries and Athena, we'll check in on Dimos and Phobos. Come on out. Can I come with him? Can I come with you? Mama and Phobos. Go, Mama! Even and Buster. Atlas is standing in the dry area. Came out, did morning chores this morning. Phobos come running up to the fence. Everything's good and fine. And uh, came back out here around midday. Check on them. And the two boys have got plaque built up. So we got them some dental bone chews and that. And Dimos was the only one to come out here. Phobos has done something to his his ankle. I can see it. Oh, doggone, buddy. Doggone it. I couldn't tell what it was. He wouldn't even come out of the shed there. Oh. Doggone. I'll have to get a hold of the vet. See if we can get him in tomorrow. Get that examined. Hopefully you didn't Hopefully he just like jammed the joint or something. But Christy, no. We might have to. We don't have a head, a deal to put around his head, a, a cone or anything to keep him from chewing on the, on it. So if I tried to splint it, he'd just chew the bandage off in the splint. I mean, I could splint it. I did that with one of her does one time. She hurt her foreleg and. Uh, had it splinted. So, and of course we got Mona and Nala. So, kind of give you a quick show of what I got done in my shop. And it hopefully it'll help me out. Now, you guys are kind of familiar with my shop. Okay. It's cleaner. You're kind of familiar with this scene over here. That door with the crowd of life out here, tractor supply. My bar clamps used to hang on this bracket up here, which made kind of opening this door a real pain because it would only open so far before it started hitting stuff and was always in the way. I gotta get in here and clean that out too. I built this rack today to centralize all my clamps. 
It's nothing fancy. Uh, watched a couple YouTube videos and looked at some pictures online. But it kind of opened up my pegboard over here. Here are some of the flag parts I'm working on. You can see more back in there. So, guys, that's about it. I'm tuckered out. Uh, got to finish up chores. Got to get them goats fed. So, guys, as always, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you continue to have a wonderful day. Many thanks for stopping by the channel. You guys take care of yourselves. Best Bye. wishes to each and every one of you. Six, Look forward to catching you guys in the next video. Six, this is Dean from Dancing the Critter Acres signing off. Bye, everybody. Six,